daily devotional ministry project of Krista Gojinabhaga from passages taken from the Holy Scriptures with quotations from the Spirit of Prophecy by Ellen G. White. Daily, 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 daily abiding in Jesus Christ. 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 July 16, 2020 1 Timothy 6 verses 9 to 10 and 17 to 19 Verses 9 to 10 But they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare, and into many foolish and hurtful lusts, which drown men in destruction and perdition. For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith, and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. 17-19 Charge them that are rich in this world, that they be not high-minded, nor trust in uncertain riches, but in the living God, who giveth us richly all things to enjoy, that they do good, that they be rich in good works, ready to distribute, willing to communicate, laying up in store for themselves a good foundation against the time to come, that they may lay hold on eternal life. Quotation from the Spirit of Prophecy The Bible condemns no man for being rich, if he has acquired his riches honestly. Not money, but the love of money, is the root of all evil. It is God who gives men power to get wealth, and in the hands of him who acts as God's steward, using his means unselfishly, wealth is a blessing, both to its possessor and to the world. But many, absorbed in their interest in worldly treasures, become insensible to the claims of God and the needs of their fellow men. They regard their wealth as a means of glorifying themselves. They add house to house, and land to land, they fill their homes with luxuries, while all about them are human beings in misery and crime, in disease and death. Those who thus give their lives to self-serving are developing in themselves, not the attributes of God, but the attributes of the wicked one. These men are in need of the gospel. They need to have their eyes turned from the vanity of material things to behold the preciousness of the enduring riches. They need to learn the joy of giving, the blessedness of being co-workers with God. By Ellen White, Ministry of Healing, pages 212 and 213. Our prayer for you today. Dear God, Thou art all-powerful, creator of the entire universe and most lovingly, You have created us in Your image. We humbly approach You with utmost awe and reverence. We acknowledge our sinful nature. Thank You for sending Jesus Christ Your begotten Son to this sinful earth and who became one with us and finally died the eternal death in our place and saved us from the eternal separation from your presence. Oh, what a love! Father, today, free us from the love of money and other worldly things in place of our love for Jesus Christ. Thank you for answering our prayer because we ask you in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen.